That's part of what makes it so special. Let's take another look at the Rubin mosaic image. Not only does this wide field of view show the entire Lagoon Nebula, but we can also identify several other objects. At the top, you can spot a swarm of blue lights. This is an open star cluster known as Messier 21. Just below that, the pink and blue glow of the Trifid Nebula, also known as Messier 20, sits about 9,000 light years away in the constellation Sagittarius, and can sometimes be spotted with small telescopes. Directly below that is another open star cluster known as Bochum 14, and towards the bottom center of the mosaic image is a tightly packed globular cluster known as NGC 6544, which is home to tens of thousands of stars. The sheer number of stars and galaxies visible in these images is staggering. And to think that on the larger mosaic image, this globular cluster is just a tiny speck. And it's not just pretty images. The Rubin Observatory is already producing real scientific results. In just about 10 hours, the observatory was able to identify 2,104 asteroids in our solar system that had never been seen before, including seven near-Earth asteroids, which, you'll be happy to hear, pose no threat to us. For comparison, about 20,000 new asteroids are identified every year through the combined effort of all other ground and space-based observatories. Rubin alone is expected to discover millions of new asteroids within its first two years of operation.